it doesn't take a lot to get into sky watching. <laughs> I'm at a uh, petroglyph called 13 moons and it's probably one of the oldest calendars in uh, North America. I feel that this petroglyph is a representation of the ancient peoples of North America moving forward to a calendar counting the seasons. Now it just may be happenstance that this petroglyph has 13 bright dots and it may just be coincidence there's 13 lunar cycles in a year 28 days exactly almost so humans have been sky watching for a very long time and you don't need a lot to get started don't let anybody tell you you need all this fancy stuff to get started you maybe just need a cheap pair of binoculars or a small little telescope that hardly costs you anything or you know the best thing may be just going out to the middle of nowhere and just laying on your back looking up at the stars you can see Saturn and Jupiter with your naked eye. You don't need fancy equipment, but you do need to get away from big cities, away from metropolitan areas. Now, I'm not going to go into all the complicated things of astrophotography and the constellations. Those will be in further videos on down the road. Today, I'm just wanting to encourage you to continue the human tradition of stargazing of gazing upward at the night sky and gazing in wonder at the things you will see. The things you will discover for the first time for yourself. The same stars and the moon and the uh, celestial events that our ancestors all across the globe have marveled at, wrote immense epic tales about. Those stories are still written in the stars above us, and they're just yours, waiting to be read by you again. And then maybe one day your children and your grandchildren will hear these stories that have been with mankind for tens of thousands of years. Our histories, our shared cultural expression of the universe has been written in caves and on rocks and we have built fabulous structures made out of stone just to observe the heavens because they are striking the heavens have struck mankind for eons and maybe it's your turn and you can do this you don't need fancy equipment but pick up where your ancestors left off Maybe you have your own stories. Maybe you see your own tales in the sky that you can invent, that you can write, that you can nurture and express to the world. But I kind of envy you guys. You know, you're going to be writing your own stories. And I hope you share them in the comments or share the link in the comments below. Or, or whatever you discovered for the first time for yourself. I mean, just because it's not the first time humans saw it, it's the first time you saw it. And that is just as valuable to our rich tradition is just as valuable as our ancestors saw what you may now see tonight for the very first time. Don't think it's any less enriching. Don't think it's less of a scientific endeavor. Don't think it's less than a human discovery. It's your discovery. That makes it human. And that makes it incredible. So tonight, away from city lights, maybe make a vacation of it and see for yourself the wonders our ancestors had watched for eons, for millennia, for tens of thousands of years, and share in those human stories, the same stories that our ancestors have looked at the night sky every night since we walked out of Africa and across the continents of Mother Earth. The work that our ancestors put in to looking at the sky, it's now your turn. What will you find? What will you discover? My hope is you'll share it with the rest of us. Signing off from the deep dark desert here in Southern California. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on our channel, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or whatever, just drop those in the comments below. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye.
notice how she's tuning in to the center of the universe. She's right there. She's, she is plugged into the sky. She is knocking on the stars. Okay, and there's some giggles. <laughs>